Um, hello? Am I live? Am I live? Am I, am I, am I live? Am I, am I, am I, am I, am I, am I, Great. It's working. It's working, which works for me. Um, oh, Carolina, what's up? I'm gonna play some chess and do some maths problems. Hey, Panera, Panera, Panera. I think is it's. I think it's right, at least in my British accent. Um, okay, let me just do a quick Insta saying that I'm live. Hi guys, uh, it's me again. Um, so today I'm going to play some chess and do some maths problems for an hour or two just because I'm cool. Get over it, swipe up, come watch. Hi guys, uh, <laughs> it's me again. Um, so today I'm going to play some chess and do some maths problems for an hour or two just because I'm cool. Get over it, swipe up, come watch. Hi guys, uh, it's me again. Um, so today I'm going to play some chess and do some maths problems for an hour or two just because I'm cool. Get over it, swipe up, come watch. Hi guys, uh, it's me again. Um, so today I'm going to play some chess and uh, do some maths problems. Sorry guys, this is really annoying. <laughs> I have two hours, please, quick. Two hours is perfect. Let's just play some chess for two hours. Boom. 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 Um, swipe up link. Let's do that. Gosh, crazy. I'm like totally a streamer. I'm just working out my niche, you know, so that's why I'm going to try some maths problems. Try some tings. You clean the fireplace. Oh, yeah, I did. Look, um, I got two, I got two plants which I think is very nice. Although if I move my head wait, this way, you will see that actually um, the clutter has just moved to the monkey area, but it's an improvement, right? Let's be honest. It's an improvement and I'm only human and that's all I can do. Maybe. Um, so yeah, I need to, I need to clean the clutter from the thing. There may be an, like a lap. Ooh, you know, like maybe a lamp there instead of my washing up basket would be nice. Uh, I could do with some backlights, you know. But I definitely think that my backdrop is starting to look like a normal human being's backdrop, whereas I previously wasn't a normal human being. I liked eight cacti. I killed eight cacti last year, so respect to you. You killed cacti, like they don't even need water. They these guys are definitely going to die, unfortunately. So, in fact, I'm putting the responsibility on you to remind me to water them once a week. Because um, Lord knows that I might forget otherwise. Um, right, like, let's, um, yeah, let's, let's, what am I doing? Let's play some chess to start with. You know, get warmed up, have a couple of chess games. So, chess is popping off on Twitch right now. Not going to lie. And, um, oh my gosh, look at my, look at my photo. That's me when I was... 12, 13, I was an avid chess player as a child. So my, my chess history to um, let you know is that, hang on, I need to put this tab so I can see your comments over here. Um, boom. Um, I didn't water them for a whole year. I took the no water rule too seriously. <laughs> Um, yeah, my chess history is that um, when I was nine, I came fifth in the country, which was probably the biggest achievement in my life. And I've only been downhill since then. So I used to be a good chess player. And then I didn't play for a while. You know, when you join secondary school, high school, you become a little self-conscious, perhaps. And for some reason, I mean, who knows why? Because this is completely unfounded and not true but for some reason I thought that it was uncool to play chess 
don't know what I was thinking. Of course, it's cool. Um, and as such, I didn't play for a few years until I eventually joined the chess team um, at school. Uh, made it to board one at one point. Um, I got quite into it again and I used to play at a local chess club and stuff. And that was probably the best I've been at chess, even though relatively then I wasn't as good as I was relatively at nine years old. Um, and now I've just been like wanting to maybe get back into the game a bit. So I got myself some chess.com subscriptions, which is lit. Let's kick off with a puzzle rush, you know, get my tactics warmed up and then we'll play some games and you can laugh at me as I probably end up losing them. And then I'm going to do some math problems for a bit. And I just thought, why not stream it whilst I go along? Because there might be, there may be someone who finds it interesting or just wants to hang out and chat with me um, as they ignore all my chess playing. Um, either is absolutely fine by me. Um, so let me just check. I'm not in the way of the board. I am a little bit away of the board. Wait, how do I crop? There, okay. Got my own little corner here. How lovely, how lovely. Uh, okay, let's do a puzzle rush. Uh, okay. So this is basically, they're giving me tactics of, um, sorry, I'm not paying attention. I mean, that's a free queen. Um, so I've got to, as quickly as possible, try and find the winning move. Like that was a fork. Um, What? Okay, sorry, that was really confusing. Boom. Uh, check. Mate. Check. Window rook. Okay, this guy only has one square available, so let's check mate him. It's queening. Check. Check and mate. Um, hmm. Ah, win the queen. So I'm looking to check mate him here, ideally. Check, check, mate, yeah. There we go. Uh, I can check him there, but what does that do? Forces him back rank and then check mate. Check mate eventually, there we go. Um, he's moved his king. I want to win that rook. So check him, discovered, attack on the rook. Um, if I check there, gives him one square and then I can, oh, no, maybe I can't make him check there, check. That's not going to make him. So maybe that's not. I'm missing something. Maybe I'm not. Check. Oh. Couldn't he go to B8 though? Anyway. Um, hmm. So I can... Uh, I can't see it. He's got no squares if I go here. So that's good. That's mate. Okay, nice. Oh. I'm black pieces. Just checkmate him. Okay. It's queen. If I take... Oh, okay, I can take the queen and then fork him and get his rook for free. That looks decent enough. Sorry, once this five minutes is done, I'm going to look at the chat, but it's time pressured, so I'm trying to get as many points as possible, which I'm not really doing because I'm talking to you guys. Um, check takes. No, there's nothing good there. If I attack the queen, he has to go there. Maybe that's the play? No. I really don't know. Must be attack the queen, but now what? If I take it, he takes back. What's the tactic? What's the point? There seems to be no point. I don't get it. I'm missing something, but apparently that was correct. So I'm amazing. Something like that. He's attacking my queen. I could take a piece and yeah, I win material like this. Okay. He's checking me. 
can I take? That's, then he takes back and then I get a discovered check. Yeah, I like it. Okay, now I'm the white pieces. I can get a check, does that do anything? Oh yeah, it does, I can win the knight. Okay, he's on the run. Can I get him? He's got one square there. And then checkmate here. No, that's not checkmate. Checkmate here. There we go. Um, okay, if I, if his bishop didn't exist, I'd get a fork on the... Maybe there's something behind that. Although I don't see a way to kick the bishop there, so maybe that isn't it. Um, if I can attack the queen... Aha! No! Oh, that's the first one I got wrong, but I'm about to lose. It's 15 seconds left. Okay, how do I win this? I think I just... I run. No, I don't. Ah! <laughs> I'm panicking now. Time pressure. Uh, I honestly, no idea. The queen looks trapped, but... Okay, excellent. That's my 13th best score. Uh, I always like to have a quick look at the ones I got wrong. Usually I find them really quickly when I'm not actually in the moment. But what is the tactic here? Check. He takes. I'm looking at this, but he just takes back and then what's the point? What am I doing it for? I want... Again, this is a good square because it'd be the fork on, on these two pieces, but he just takes back. What am I missing? Let's just get a hint, because who cares? Queen. Oh, this is free. This is free because he takes and then I, I get the, the material back. Oh, and then he wants, wants to play another move. I mean, there's only one square for my knight, so... Okay, that was, the, that was the tactic. Let's find the other one that I did wrong. Um. Okay. If I get opposition... Okay. If I get in here... This is called opposition, where my king is facing off his king, but I've had the tempo. He can only move side to side. Sorry, not that far. He can only move here and here. But if he makes a run for my pawns on that side, that's no good. Can I just, um, yeah, and say, how do you do get around this? If I push this, I queen now. Okay, that's the tactic. Boom. All right, let's see what chat's saying. Who's here? Okay. Can someone else just type something here at the moment? Because this is just me talking. <laughs> In plural, hi Carolina. There we go, we got a conversation popping off. Are you in England? Nope. I'm from Russia. You? I'm from Thailand. Whoa, cool. Um, would you all be sad if he sees we don't care about chess and we're chatting to each other now? Yeah, this is a thing because like I obviously have so few viewers on my live streams and my, my hobbies don't exactly align with everybody else's hobbies. But I feel like I've got to just, um, can I learn to play chess by watching this? Uh, good question, Alinda. I would say... Yes, I will try and give chess tips, but if you don't know how the pieces move, you might want to... Sorry, apologies. You might want to have a look at that first. Actually, I love chess, but I barely know the English terms of playing. Yes, yeah, this is some um, specific, specific vocabulary for you to learn. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, Sal Mayastri Shamu, welcome to the chat. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you do the math problems. Oh, really? Maybe I should go into the math problems first. I just wanted a couple. You know what? I'll play a couple of games of chess. Then we'll do a couple of math problems and we'll call it a fun little stream. Why the hell not? So I'm going to play 10 minute time control because I'm going to have to have a little bit of thinking time if, if I'm talking to you a lot at the same time. So E4 says I want control of the center straight away. Um, he replies E5. So I'm going to attack that. Why can't I draw lines? It's not letting me. Weird. Um, I'm attacking that pawn. He's defending it, but I don't think that's the best way to defend it. I'm going to instantly try and take control of the center here by playing C3. Okay, interesting. Let's kick, kick the bishop back a little bit. And then do this. You've got to remove the pin. Why can't I draw on the board? Oh well. Um, I'm not sure the purpose of that move. I'm just going to say thank you very much for the free centre. Pre-move that. If he takes my pawn, I take back with my pawn. 
what's going on in the chat chess is amazing you've got ellie here as well guys it's popping off over here let's go okay so he's attacking my pawn it's not defended so i'm going to defend it with my knight i'm liking my position i'm liking my position a lot i've got a really strong center which means that i can maneuver my pieces very quickly to either side of the board depending on what the attack needs i'm going to develop my queen a little bit earlier than than normal just because it attacks this square which is the weakest pawn um it, currently it's defended by this and the king so i've got no attack just yet but in the future and then obviously i was attacking that b pawn so now he's weakened his light squares hugely by playing that move um i'm just thinking i want to get my white bishop going now but because these these light squares are so weak but if i move my bishop and he trades um I have to take back the knight with the pawn, which would ruin my kingside structure. So I'll bide my time. I'm going to castle first. There's no rush. Wait for him to make a mistake. Okay, so now he's actually removed the pin himself. So I've only got one piece defending this right now. So I think the play is probably to improve the defense a little. Um, so he's, he's looking to castle. So he's developed his pieces now. He's thinking, oh, yeah, I've done my main job. I'm going to put another defender on this square so that I can free up my bishop to eventually um, use these, these, ah, no, no, don't do that. To use these uh, disgustingly beautiful, ah, light squares. Sorry, I keep accidentally pre-moving. So now he's going back for the, for the piece, but it's a, too little too late, my friend, because I'm just going to reposition this knight now. Um, I only really have one choice of where to do that. It's here. But this looks good to me. It adds another defender to my e4. Yeah, I like it. And how can I get my knight up in his face? I could send a knight here. Um, puts pressure on there. I need to get this bishop developed. So like... I'm not sure if there's anything tactical around. I should get my bishop in this square. It puts a lot of pressure on his position, removes important squares like this one, um, e8, and the likes. Chess is amazing. I'm literally hearing, what's the actual word I heard? always play chess in four in a row. Oh, pawn, P-A-W-N. Yeah, pawn. Okay, you realised it yourself. Um, you're going to win. I feel it. Thanks, Ellie. I, I, I feel it too. Now, it would be a huge mistake if I went here because I, I trapped my bishop. So I'm not going to fall for that. I'm instead going to get this disgustingly nice outpost now for my bishop. I'm attacking his rook. This is why he weakened his pawn structure so much by moving this b-pawn earlier. Um, if I play this move, this bishop's going to cause havoc for his entire game. So I'm going to do that. This pawn chain is really nicely defended. Um, okay, he's going for my queen. Um, I have squares for it, but I don't have many squares for it. I think the safest move, I could move it to the side here, but I don't see the point in that. I'm just going to put it here. A little bit more safety. Just check there's nothing going bad for me. Got more defenders on this important pawn here, because if I lose this pawn, then suddenly this becomes under attack and everything will go wrong. So I can't let this collapse. I could even play f3 to consolidate at some point. Um, make this bishop completely useless as well it looks nice and then because his pawns are locked this bishop's never going to get into the game this guy's struggling to to get any space for his pieces whatsoever eventually i'll hopefully wear him down or he'll blunder and make a big mistake so i'm feeling good i feel like i've got the time to talk to you guys what's going on in your lives you call pawns peshka in russian i should realize so do you play chess um i know russians um have very good uh history with the game, the game of chess. He's got one, two, three pieces. I got one, two, three, four defending. So this pawn is not under threat just yet. Um, it could, still could be ideas of f3 because it's just it just says, well, what are you ever going to do in this game? Eventually, he'd have to try and manoeuvre and get f5 pushed to break up the pawn chain, but I just don't see it being good for him. Is there anything more pressing that I could do? How do I actually get my pieces up in his face? This knight is annoying. 
I'm going to play f3 first. Get it done. Consolidate the, pish, the position. Now I need to get this bishop into the game. So eventually I need to move here. And actually, if he takes, then I could open up my A file, which is strong because he has no defense for this pawn yet, except for pushing it. Um, but do I want him to push it? Well, not really, because then how do I get my pieces in? Actually, no, I, I would like him to push it. Okay, so he wants to take control of this square now, which is totally reasonable, and perhaps F3 was not a good move. Um, I could bring this back here, take that square away. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I need to get some defenders on these dark squares now. So this knight does a good job of covering um, G, G3 and H2. Uh, if he pulls his bishop in here. Okay, so he's done exactly what I thought he would, which is try and get this rolling. Hmm. I've gone quiet because I need to think exactly what I want to do here. I wish I had a knight here, not my bishop. Um... What happens if I take? Put pressure on this bishop. He has to take back with his bishop. Attacks my knight. I could then go like this. He can't defend that. I think that wins. I might be going crazy, but takes here. How does he defend that bishop? That's why having this bishop was so good. It removed the key squares that could possibly add to the defense of this piece. Oh, he can just move the bishop though. Dum. Yeah, he can just move the bishop. But then I... No, I don't even have this square to check. Oh, I... Okay. I attack this. I attack this piece. I'm also attacking the... And I'm not... Oh, shoot. I'm not. The knight's there. And then I can... It's ruining my position, but this is a double attack. So he would lose a piece there, but it would also expose my king. So it might not even be worth doing... He moves his bishop here, probably. Attacking this. Okay, he's going to defend it like that, which is... Looks like a mistake to me, because what does he do when I do this? Is his attack going to be strong enough? Let's find out. It'll be fun. I'm also low on time. This wins material. So really, I've got to say, this looks pretty good. Okay, he's gone for that, but that's left this square really weak. Oh, no, 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 his knight's there. Um, I'm not getting myself into trouble here, am I? How about this? And if he takes, then I have to take with the rook. Or I think I come, I come in here. Play a little defense for a second. No. It's getting a little bit dicey. I didn't see his tactic there. My position is, is blowing up. Okay, I have some tactical tactical points as well. This piece is defended by this piece. So if I could remove this defender, this is going to be hanging. This is hard. I'm not playing well. At chess, at secondary school, I was chess champion. Nice, Ellie. So you understand the game as well. Math and, and chess combined is awesome. Um, that's sick. I'm glad we can we can all appreciate the wonders that is chess. Um, okay, I'm, I'm falling to pieces though here. What am I doing? That just gives him a free check. I've got to move. I've got to get some tempo back. If 
I can kick this. I should have kicked this knight ages ago. This pawn's hanging, but at what cost? Oh my God, at the cost of my queen, okay. I cannot lose that. Um, this is horrifying. This is horrifying. <laughs> that was a terrible move as well. <laughs> oh, first game of the day. I'm playing like trash. It's because I'm talking on stream so much. Give me a break, people. bad oh my god no and then if I, if I take back with my queen he wins my queen honestly this is resignable I, I messed this up so bad sorry Joel we are distracting you yeah I mean I'm distracting myself sure blame it on us yeah actually you know what I will it's all you guys I'm amazing at chess and this none of this was my fault <laughs> If I take, if I play here, he takes with check, which is even more of a disaster. If I play here, he can swing. It's, it's just lost. It's just fully lost. I hate this game. I need to resign. I'm bad. I do need to learn. Hey, Joel, can we hear sweet, um, sweet but psycho in your own flair, please? Yeah, I like that song. That'd be, that'd be... Oh, she's a little bit psycho, a little bit psycho. Da -da -da -ding. Uh oh, ma -ma -ma. I need to learn it. Um, it'd be cool. So you got checks. It's got that square, but um, doesn't do that much. Check, or does it? Check. Let's just take that square away from him for a second. He shouldn't have played that move first. He should have taken straight away and then I could have fallen for the tactic. This guy isn't very good, but I don't know how I messed up so quickly. Maybe F3 was just never the play. I'm in intrigued to, to have a look at why. Um, you blame us always, Joel. We'll find a way to win. He's genius. <laughs> Honestly, in this game, it's not looking likely. I'm down an entire rook and two pawns. My king is exposed. Everything is horrible. Everything is absolutely horrible. If I can keep my queen on the board, maybe I can have him make a mistake. But honestly, I'm even down on the clock because I'm talking so much. Yeah, what I need to do is work out how I can talk and be entertaining while simultaneously good at things. Because that is clearly my problem. Imagine trying to show off your skills to your viewers and failing. No, there's nothing wrong with failing, Carolina. If there's anything I want to teach my viewers, it's that failing is good. Failing is good. Something like that. Okay, am I am I doomed? Um Okay. I don't have a choice. I don't know why I'm thinking about it. Um, now there might be some tactics. His king is open. I've got this light square bishop that I can't bloody use, even though it's supposed to be my best piece at once upon a time. Um, okay, he's got discovered. Let's get some counterplay somewhere. There must be some counterplay. Oh no, it's, it's doomed. It's just absolutely doomed. You know what? Let's just see where it went so horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. 
five mistakes and two blunders apparently went horribly wrong. I'm going to retry my mistakes. Edit up this lol. So many golden moments. Gel multitasking lol. Yeah, that's that's clearly my problem. It's multitasking. Life's gone downhill because of Corona. Honestly, I'm going to win some game. Look, I was up four points. I missed a tactic. I've missed a tactic here. What is it? Can anyone see it? Am I blind? I, I don't know. Is it something to do with this? I don't see how this wins the material. Okay, apparently it's this. Why? Because how does he deal with it? Well. Okay, apparently this is really good for me. I, I mean, I... I don't know. Let's try the next mistake anyway. We went here. I suppose it's still this. Like, this was the play. Like, I need to push this pawn. Use my strong center. Open up the light squares, I guess. That's partly what it does. Um, also just breaks open the center. When you've got a strong center and he's not castled, you just want to break open the center. I should have thought about that. So now I've started to lose my evaluation. I was only up two pawns at this point. Um, and I played d5 to consolidate, but that just made, that just locked my bishop in for ages. And I really didn't need to do that. So actually, okay, they want me to play. No, they want me to play a4 break open this side of the board instead you know this is it's intricate stuff ha, you know whatever and then this was my yeah this was when i played f3 and that was because i thought that it would be smart to like lock this pawn chain but it just ended up making my position so vulnerable and weak because what did he do yeah he brought the bishop knight in here and had this threat and stuff and my com my position completely collapsed so honestly like that's not the move but some I don't know. Oh, it says to do this instead. But doesn't he just have the same ideas? I suppose it's still a bit more proactive. I can completely render this bishop useless eventually and just get my pieces functioning in there. Anyway, I, I don't need to watch from this point. This was a disaster. I played knight f1, didn't I? And that was horrifying. Horrifying. Yeah, I needed to kick this knight way sooner because there were so many tactical problems eventually when the bishop got to here. Oh, this game was disgusting. Uh, you know, we don't need to see any more of this. Let's play a new one. Let me just chat with you guys for a second first. Joel, please sing us a two-minute thingy. Uh, any song will do. Hmm. I don't know what to sing. I'll do a beatbox for two minutes because that's easy for me to do off the cuff. we got the... Bird, bird, bird. His beatbox woke up my hamster. This is animal abuse. Animal abuse. My cat's ears are up. He's listening. Honestly, I think beatbox is how you communicate with animals. Have you seen that Instagram video I did where it's like, yeah this dog and i was beatboxing it was like very attentive 
Oh, anyway, sorry to wake up the entire neighbourhood of animals. Shall we play a game of chess? I'm going to quickly fill up my some water. This was coffee, which is why I'm so hyper and why I want to stream right now. And instead, I want coffee. Uh, water. Be right back. You can look at this chess game and make fun of me, all of you. Play four player chess then. Oh, Unreal Ben. Is that Benny? Is that Benny? If it's Benny, do you want to play a quick chess game on stream? I'm, I'm waiting for you to respond. I, is this Benny's account? I don't know what his YouTube account is. Yeah, it is. Yo, Benny, do you want to play a, a chess game on stream or we'll get on Discord? Get in, get in our Discord. <laughs> but, oh, Benny, come on, quick. Uh, just a quick one. I know you're working, but you've got five minutes to play chess game with me on stream. Come on. <laughs> Does anyone else in the chat want to play against me? Quick, you, this is your chance. We can we can get on a, on the call and we can play chess against each other. I've never played four player chess. That's actually maybe more entertaining. I could try that. But I think I think it would be fun. Um if somebody if somebody wants to actually play me. I can't believe I lost that last game. I'm still absolutely gutted. Benny. Don't be lurking like that and then I can do LOL game if you ever ask. Could play a league game. I feel like league is a bit more alienating maybe for people who've never seen the game. But whereas chess is like quite speedy and a lot of people know at least how the pieces move. But we could we could play a league game at some point um on the stream that would be cool. Um okay, I'm assuming Ben Benny doesn't want Benny's my stepbrother by the way. He doesn't want anything to do with me. He hates me. So, I'm going to play I'm going to get some water and we're going to play one more chess game and then I might do some math problems. Um I would if I had my computer logged on. Ha. <laughs> okay, fair enough, Ellie. But um we can we can do on stream challenges at some point that'll be that'll be entertaining i think okay be right back literally 2 seconds don't go anywhere Honestly, these, um, these plants are just, they're just wonderful. They brighten up my world. My world. Um, what have I missed? Bad drawing with Joel. We can do drawing one so we can also see how bad he is at drawing. Sure, I, we'll do a drawing one. We can play Scribble, Scribble IO. Scr uh, you know Scribble? Anyway, if you don't, look it up. Right, one more game. And then we can do a couple of fun little little maths problems. Okay, E4. I'm going to play the Sicilian. Um, take away the D5, the E5 square, so that I can attack this pawn. Close Sicilian, my least favourite Sicilian. I mean, it's a free pawn. Am I wrong? It looks like a free pawn to me. I don't say no to free pawns too often. Maybe this gets me into trouble somehow, but... Um... I mean, I just need to strengthen my center now. Block off this um, weak F pawn. It's finally kicked my knight. I'm just going to bring it straight back to where it was. It was happy over there. One happy guy. Okay, it's pinning me, but I wanted to castle soon anyway. Let's get myself out of the pin. Let's just kick him out. 
See what he does. Give myself an escape square later down the line. Okay, he's taking away... Honestly, this guy's a weird player. I can push this pawn for absolutely no... For free. Uh, start developing my pieces. Again, like, I've, I've got a strong opening and, uh, you know, I managed to screw that up last game. Okay. What, what am I wanting to do eventually? I'm wanting to make a queenside break. That's usually the how the Sicilian works. So let's get my queen in a nice spot. I'll probably get my bishop here. I mean, where's he going? Like, if he goes here... Oh, if he goes there, I guess I don't want to trade that. I mean, honestly, can't I just play e5 here? You've given me e5 for free. I, and I'll say thank you very much. Actually, maybe I weakened, I weakened that pawn a lot. He could have just taken, taken. But he's he's playing all kinds of incorrect. feel like this this tactics to be had if I play with the bishop he's got I've got three defenders so far he's got two he could bring the, a knight back here and have a fourth attacker takes takes how can I consolidate this is the question and then I put my bishop here takes he can't take that first. If he doesn't win, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with him just so he could win. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I'll need a victory. I will definitely need a victory if I don't win this one. He's got two defenders. I could defend. I want to get this developed anyway. It's like how... Now I need to work out how I can make the most out of my strong centre, which is something I'm bad at. As we saw last game. Takes, takes. I mean, this is now free. But if he takes my pawn, can't I just bring my knight in? Yeah, I, I'm taking this pawn because his, his structure is going to collapse soon. Like, sure, he can take this pawn. But his knight's pinned. So what does he do when I come come over here? Like, isn't that just going to end up be being another pawn for free? I suppose he's defending. Tate. Okay. I suppose he's defending. Maybe it wasn't the play yet again. I feel like I've got to make the most of this pin whilst it still exists. Okay. He's kicked that away. Then I'll only have three defenders. Am I screwing up again? No way. Let's let's try and attack this piece. This bishop's massive though. Maybe I've underestimated how strong that bishop's looking. Yeah, he wants to keep the pressure on this pawn, which I'm not surprised about. Looks a little ropey for me. Just need more defense here. 
I can't lose this pawn. If I lose this pawn, I may as well just cry. See, you can do it, John. He seems like a savage. Yeah, who, who do you think's winning, guys? I'm up a pawn, remember. If I can just consolidate this position, like, eventually that should serve me quite nicely. Okay, this this is hanging if he pushes. Um... No, it's not. It's protected. So I don't think I have to do anything immediate. Can I attack this? Like, I kind of can't. Takes, takes, push. Takes, takes, takes. That doesn't work for me. I feel like this tactical motives eventually but it doesn't work yet and i'm short on time it takes i need to get rid of that bishop But if he puts it here, isn't that horrible for me? Looking down at this square. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Hang on. He's got three attackers of this square right now. That's fine, because he has to move his bishop first. He can't just take... Can he take with the knight? Because if he takes with the knight, takes, takes, takes. Yeah, he could have taken with the knight. Anyway, it's dumb. Hang on, I have to be careful of this pawn. Also got to think a little, a little faster. I'm four, four minutes here, six minutes here. It seems like science. You, you're winning. Yes, Ellie. Yes, Ellie. I am winning. I am winning, actually. So I just need to work out how to make this fully won. I want to go on the attack a bit. This is all looking a bit ropey for him. So if I can... Pawn push, dun dun. See if I can swing around for an attack. Yeah, I thought he'd do that, but takes. Takes, takes. One, two, three. One, two, three still got enough defense I think this the, the attack is brewing whoa hello I'm pinned I cannot believe it I'm gonna cry I'm gonna cry unless I can find a tactical I'm just going to cry. I think it's just a lot simpler if I cry. 
Dunstan takes, 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 takes. He's a piece up. I think I'll just cry as my option. <laughs> could defend this and look to maybe attack. At least that's something. I'm crying. Take, take, take. Maybe that's better. Takes, takes. <sighs> Guys, what's wrong with me? There's something wrong with me. Everything's collapsing. Nothing's properly protected. I don't have time, but this is not the right way to do it. Swapping off my pieces here. I could try and keep my queen on the board and just take back with the pawn for now. At least that starts producing a bit of an attack as well. And then I can swing my queen here and do like double attacks on. There's some, there's some possibilities here. Let's go for this. This line. If he plays takes with the bishop i can come here takes check that's not enough actually this is a disaster okay that's a good move that's a good move I need to play quicker. Could have taken the pawn, but honestly, get me out of here. <laughs> Just get me out. Man, allow it. Why am I playing so badly? <laughs> I'm supposed to be good at this game. Okay. That looks possibly not very good for him. Let's start creating some attacks. I'm attacking this. And most importantly, I'm attacking this. Okay, he's not defending right. some opportunities. I'm not hanging the bishop just yet because I have got this. Okay, now he's going for mate and can I survive it? Honestly, boom is quite nice. Or do I just defend it more directly? If I double up here, it could be good. Also adds a defender to this. I don't know what's right, but this feels decent. He doesn't have any ideas like this just yet because, you know, it's still just take. I think I'm holding out. Oh, my time is too low. I'm, I'm not going to be able to win. Okay, let's just play quick.
Hello? This could be huge for me. Check. Let's not calculate it. Ah, it doesn't work, does it? He just moves. Yeah, smart guy. I don't have enough time. Whatever. I'm so bad. This is not my day. I'm actually up in material. That's the crazy thing. But there's no time. <sighs> I can't believe it, guys. I'm so bad at chess. You missed a checkmate in three. You missed another checkmate in sight. <laughs> I'm unstanding him. <laughs> yeah, this is the end of my career. Ugh. Why am I playing so badly? I'm blundering so much. I want to play another game. I have off days, we can get through it, and every day is good. <laughs> it's good. Oh, I'm humiliating myself on stream. Get me out. I'm winning. I'm winning these games, and then I'm throwing them. I played E5. Um, E5. Why did I do that? I thought it was free center, but I'm just unconsolidating all of the hard work that I've done. What would actually be a good move? Get my bishop developed. Simple. Get my bishop developed and start making attacking chances. Okay, he goes here and I went knight g6. I think I just take. Yeah, I just take and open up his... There's so many opportunities to do things this game and I'm not concentrating even though I know... Yeah, now he got his knight out of the way and then I said I played queen e7. But I could have what? No. Yeah, that would have been fine. What did I do instead, though? I played queen in seven, and I could have played this. Starting to look for attacking chances. I've got three defenders. I became obsessed with defending this pawn, which is why I never should have pushed it in the first place. Ugh. Now we're even, and instead I do c times d4, which makes him so much better. Opens up the position again. I don't have to take. I don't have to remove the, the tension. What could I have done? I could have started attacking chances. Yeah, there we go. That would have been my best move. So many so many more threats, like coming here. He has to you know, push his pawn to stop that, and then that bishop's out of the game. Oh. Gosh, this was just mayhem. I should have just taken the queens off the board here. And then what's this end game? I get a pawn. I get two pawns for the minor piece. It's like it's playable at this level. Yo, guys, I'm I'm having a mare. Joel the comedian crying. Okay. Can we play? Literally made an account just for that. Yeah, we can play. Thank you, Carolina. Let's play. What's your okay? Add me, jealous. What is it? Jealous one. I spell it like this. Add me. We'll have a game. 
I want one victory of a ranked game, though, at some point. Otherwise, I really am going to cry. So add this guy. We play a game. I want to play Blitz, though. We're playing five minuters. We're going to go fast, Carolina. <laughs> Guys, what is wrong with me? I'm learning, though. Like, it's reminding me of important principles that I forgot. Like, this, I'm becoming obsessed with the sense which is correct, but I'm overextending when I shouldn't and not extending when I should have. Like, when he wasn't castled in the first game, I should have blown up the position by pushing e5. And in the second game, I pushed e5 when I had such a strong, consolidated centre with a useless bishop that made his bishop good. In fact, made it his best piece in the end. It completely destroyed me because it allowed for the tactic of the queen taking. Oh. I should be doing coursework a lot, but I choose to watch you. <laughs> Ellie, what coursework do you have to do? Make sure you do get it done, but I do. I'm not going to be here for too long. I've already streamed for an hour. God, how, how the time flies. I'll play Carolina. I'll play one more chess game, like a fast chess game. And then I'm going to do a couple of maths problems. Let you guys get on with your day, you know? In it. Okay, have you have you added me, Carolina? I don't really know how this site works, but Carolina, Earth to Carolina, what is going on? Right, whilst you get it sorted, I'm just going to play one more five minute. Five minute, this is concentration town. Watch me concentrate, watch me murk this player. Right, 1447, absolute piss low. Let's end this guy's entire career. Okay, um, play a slav. What is this guy doing? Very symmetrical position. I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. I don't get what he's doing, doesn't matter. Play my own game. I don't mind. Got my knight on a great square, but lost my rook in the process. 
I'm too bad at chess, it turns out. I'm actually too bad at this game. Why did I do that? I could have taken first. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to win this game. doesn't matter that I'm down. Look for the tactics, Joel. Use the force. What are my best chances here? Is what I should be asking myself. If he goes here, do I just lose this pawn? I need to learn to play chess before I go on stream playing chess. <laughs> I can take soon. Uh, yeah, not if he takes first. Dum dum dum. I've, I mean, I have to. I don't hate my position. I feel coordinated at the very least. My pieces are active. I've got to be careful of back rank checkmates, though. My dad's calling me. <laughs> this is a disaster. This weakens my position so much, but maybe I can work out a way to trap his queen. Hang in there, dad. I will call you back. I know you're not watching my stream, but still. I'll try and win on time here. Okay, Mr. Opening up your center. I mean, you're king. Now there's room to find some blunderful, blunderful mistakes on his part. He's not doing anything as well. Like, why is he putting his queen there? He's trying to add more defense to this square, I guess. He was worried about me taking it but that was his queen he was still defending it so i now he's just weakening his position more okay 
I need to get my queen over to the white squares. I can get c5. Just don't let him in. It's a bad move. I'm up in time. This is funny looking a bit positive. This bishop isn't playing the game. I've won. <laughs> um, I win. Yay! <laughs> nope, not rematching you. I am amazing at chess again. Yay. <laughs> Guys, let's do a celebration. Wait for it. Da, 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 da. Honestly, that is not the nicest <laughs> victory feeling. To be fair, like, I gave him a hard game, despite, like, he won the exchange quite early on, which was just, oh, stupid of me. But I held out. I, tapped, I strategically placed my pieces in places that caused him so many problems that he had to overthink things, and he ran out of time. Um, so basically, I'm superior in all ways, forms, shapes. Um, you've heard it. Let's have a quick game against Caroline, and then I'm going to do some math problems. Um, <laughs> right, where? Okay. Right, okay, so how do I challenge you to a game? Challenge. I might have to quickly talk to my dad. He's probably getting annoyed. Okay, can you please not secretly be like a chess prodigy? It's currently in, it's not currently. Okay, so Carolina, you need to go into mid five of your challenge. Uh, can you find my challenge, Carolina? Yeah, is that annoying? Hi pitch ringtone oh sorry you could hear the ring that's annoying guys <laughs> guys 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 the ring was just a facebook standard ring um you know give me a break if you're like some prodigy carolina i'm gonna cry please don't be a russian grandmaster in disguise also my dad is tutoring to be free okay you think about your move i'm just gonna quickly message my my dad, um, in a stream, dad, sorry, you're going to have to wait for 30 minutes or so now. Okay. <laughs> um, what have you played here? Interesting. Let's blow it open. Let's blow it wide open. You're going to take back with the pawn or the queen. What is your play, Carolina? Don't make me cry. Do not make me cry, please. Oh, hang on. Sorry, you can't see the board, guys. We're back here. We're back here. This is a game against Carolina. Here she is. Possibly trying to make me cry. Let's get some symmetry going on.
I don't see this position very much. Okay, you're going to fee and chatter your bishop. I see. Well, I'm going to defend. The potentially attacked square. Carolina, remember time... Do you, <laughs> remember what I did to that last guy with my speedy calculation? You might want to think about moving your pieces a little faster, otherwise you're going to be quite upset as you flag. Okay, now I'm seeing some weaknesses develop. <laughs> but I'm not going to work on them just yet. I want to get my king to safety. Okay, there's a lot of pawn moves. <laughs> you don't need to maybe move that quickly, I don't know. <laughs> okay, there's an outpost for my... No, let's get, let's get my bishop out before I start removing. Okay, Carolina, you're gonna be, you're gonna be upset here. You might be upset. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> She's carrying on marching, the march continues. The, m <laughs> the march of the pawns. Um, okay, I want more. The march of the pawns. Where, when will it end? When will it end? Do 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 dum ba bum ba da 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 dum ba dum ba da 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 dum. Um. <laughs> Okay, let's let's call this lights out. I reckon. Time to time to end this person's entire career. Bum ba bum ba 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 bum bum ba bum ba 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 bum bum. Free rook. Or check. <laughs> Free rook, I'm greedy. I'm feeling greedy today. Um. Perhaps I'll try and take every piece to make myself really feel a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I quite like it as an idea. <laughs> okay. Good game, Carolina. I th thank you for that. I feel better already. I feel wonderful. Bruv, your mic isn't working, lol. Can't hear shit. Seriously? Hello? It says that it's working. Are you sure you haven't just muted your... Can anyone else hear me? Can anyone else hear me? I mean, this is tragic, if not... Hello, 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 hello. Hello. It's hello. working. Hello. He's trolling me. Right? I'm being trolled. My mic's working fine, right, chat? Hear loud and clear. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. So Carolina, I am happy. Benny, don't know what you're talking about. You're um you're off your head. And Ellie, I hope you enjoyed me winning two games, finally. Let's do some maths problems. Right, let's get bit paper up. And let's try and do, uh, I don't know, senior maths challenge. That might be attainable, attainable and fun. 
Let's look at, look at the paper. Can you guys see these wonderful problems? Let me just check. Yes, you kind of can. Perhaps we could enlarge. Well, here we go. Let's make me a little, little smaller. How's that for you all? Doesn't this look fun, guys? I've got an hour left, can you be quick? Yeah, I'm just gonna do like one question. Just satisfy my urge, my desire. And then I might do music, but I probably won't stream music today. Cause you know, it's not like I'm a musician or anything. I'm obviously a professional chess player. I'm maths problem solver. Oh. Guys, which question do you want me to do? Question 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, or 25, vote now. Take your pick. I want to see at least two votes in the chat and I'll do one of them. <laughs> I know, I see five people watching this, this stream. Votes, find the most ugly looking question or the prettiest looking question if you, if you say please. And uh, I'm doing apps now, come join. 28, you see, 28, unfortunately, if I'm, let me just do the maths quickly. Uh, yeah, 28 is bigger than 25, so unfortunately it doesn't exist on this paper. Um, okay, he said two, all right then, 28, he said two votes. Okay, how am I gonna do a question that doesn't exist, guys? You're really uh, grinding my gears here. Which question can we leave now? Come on, somebody pick a question and I'll do it. Right, which question do I think looks interesting? I like to look at 22. A function f satisfies, okay, let's look at this. A 22, a function f satisfies the equation n minus 2019, Lots of f of n minus f of 2019 minus n equals 2019. I think they're a little bit obsessed with the year in these papers. For every integer n, oh, as in this was in 2019, just to be clear, I do know that we in fact are in 2020 right now. I actually had to look at um, my calendar quickly to, to um, solidify that belief, but yes. Um, and once, what is the value of 2019? Well, we don't know what this function is, but perhaps if we play around with it a little, we might understand it a bit better. So let me get on bit paper here. Is this working? Can you see this? Okay, Cre uh, create a paper, um, maths, and it wants me to pay for it, which I'm absolutely not going to do. So I'm sure I have a paper somewhere. Ba -ba 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 this is, very irritating, um, but I do know I have a free paper somewhere and I'm going to open it up and we're going to work on it. Okay, I've opened five million of them up. Right, bear with me chat, bear with me. Is it zero? Oh, Benny, Benny, I haven't, 22 is easy, FFS. It probably is easy. Um, sorry, this is from some tutoring. Let's clear this or let's just make a new, right. So let's investigate this function a little bit and we can check to see if you guys are right. So we've got n minus 2019, lots of f of n, um, minus f of 2019 minus n equals 2019. Now this is what we like to call a functional equation. Um, a function, functional equation because it's an equation involving functions and this function f is unknown, but perhaps if we know what it is, it would be easy to work out what f of 2019 is. So let's explore some of these n values to find out stuff about our function f. Well, a natural approach is if I substitute n as 2019, well then this cancels because 2019 minus 2019 is in fact zero as um, you can b probably believe. Um, so this bit all cancels and we have this part here, which is f of zero. So f of zero would equal, um, well, in fact, minus f of zero equals 2019. And so f of zero equals 2019. Now, can we do anything more interesting? Um, 
Well, let's substitute n is zero now because we know what f of zero is. So this value will become clear. And if I put n as zero, so this is when n equals 2019, I get this result. But what if I put n equals zero now because I know f of zero from my investigations thus far? Well, if I put in that, I would get this. Oh, sorry, I've done my equation wrong here. Um, this is going to work out very nicely indeed, isn't it? Uh, minus f of 2019. Aha, well, that's the value that I actually want to calculate anyway. So I'm looking forward to this uh, coming out fruitful. Uh, minus 2019 times uh, minus 2019 is uh, 2019 squared. I CBA to work that out. Uh, minus the quantity that we're actually looking for here. Um, equals 2019. Well, I can do a little bit of rearranging and factorizing here. How do I move this board down? Oh, there we go. Do a little bit of rearranging and factorizing here. And we see that in fact, we get this. I've just moved the F of 2019 to this right hand side and this 2019 to the left hand side, but also switch the size just because I know that this is the quantity I'm trying to find and it makes more sense to uh, write it from left to right. So therefore, if I've not made any mistakes, which I very probably have, I can factorize a 2019 here and I have one lot of 2019 minus one. So I actually get 2019 times 2018 as the answer. Now, was that an answer? Uh, it is. So I believe that C is the answer. Uh, what did you guys think of that problem? I thought it was uh, quite wonderful, actually. So Benny, no, the answer isn't zero. Now it, wouldn't, it won't be because I didn't go to school. Uh, true. So that's why you see Benny, uh, Unreal Ben here is a prime example of why you should in fact go to school. Um, you don't want to end up as silly as him thinking that the answer could possibly be zero. Get your own maths TV show. Wow. Wouldn't that be a feat? I think I could really bring maths to the masses. Um, that was a really fun question. What questions should we do next, guys? I'm actually digging this. Was that interesting? Was that entertaining? I have no idea. Did you understand the steps? Because you can also, since there are so few people who are actually bothered about watching me, um, which I'm not surprised by, but thank you for those of you who are watching me, um, you can imagine that I could probably take questions if you do. What did I miss? Okay, great. Carolina wasn't even paying any attention. That's wonderful. I literally have three um, active participants here and one of them is not active whatsoever. So um, thanks, guys. How fun. How fun. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, what, what question looks cool? Who likes this heart? This geometry problem heart thing. The heart shown in the diagram is formed from an equilateral triangle, ABC, and two congruent semicircles. That means they're the same on AB. The two semicircles meet at the point P. The point O is the center of one of the semicircles, the one on the right. On the semicircle with center O lies a point X. Um, the lines XO, oh, my word, and XP, um, are extended to meet at Y and Z respectively. The lines X, Y and X, Z are of equal length as X, Y and X, Z are of equal length. My word, are they? That's intriguing. Um, what is angle Z, X, Y? Oh, golly, golly, gosh. This does look like a bit of a, a bit of a problem to me. Um, what are people's early thoughts? Next one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, people are actually interested in this. This is amazing to me. Um, I need a Wii, which is going to make me hyper, to be honest. But I'm going to finish this next one. So, um, excuse me, I was busy. Okay, you know, fine. I understand that things are more important than me doing solving maths in front of you. Easy, haha, 21. Oh, 21 as in you want me to do question 21. Or you, you think the answer is 21, which unfortunately isn't one of the answers. So, oopsie. Um, okay, let's have a go at this because this looks like an interesting little geometry problem. I think it's going to take some circle theorem stuff, which hopefully I, I can remember because uh, honestly, I'm a little bit scared of this. So remember this shape. We've got an equilateral triangle. <coughs> How do I draw shapes on this stuff? Hmm. Shapes, backgrounds and grids shapes cool 
Shapes? Oh, come on. Just give me some shapes. Ah, toggle shape. Okay. So. Oh. Right. Oh, anyway, wait. It's an upside down. Yes. Ah. Oh, E. Oh, okay. Get rid of it. Right. Okay. Get rid of it. <laughs> something wrong with me. Okay. Here it is. That's equilateral-ish. And now, do they have semicircles? Ooh. Am I missing? Can you guys see semicircles? Am I going I'm mad? Why don't I just draw two circles? They don't have, like, a button to make them regular, which is really annoying. Um, excuse me. Can you look a little bit more like a circle? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm done with this stupid shape tool. Boom. Rubbish. Boom. Boom. Okay. Let's mark on some of these points. Okay, so you've got some point X here. Such that when we draw a line through the center of this one. How do you draw a line? Aha, that's nice. When you draw a line through this one and a line through this one, you can see how certainly um, inaccurate my drawing is. Um, apparently, these lines are of equal length, so I'll draw dashes through them to say that they're equal. And what else do we have? I think that's all we have. Hmm. Semicircle. Equal length, what is okay. I've just got to find angle ZXY. So, how do we go about this? And honestly, my instinct is I have absolutely no idea. Um, right, what are people saying? Joel. Okay, he can't draw. <laughs> okay, you're right. This is finally the demonstration. Joel, Joel, wait, can you pause? FFS. I don't remember the end. Okay, got it. What do you mean you don't remember the end? I mean the question. So the question is, what is this angle here? Hmm. I'm going to call it X. What is X? Huh? Um, I'm buying time because honestly, let me just check that ZXY. Honestly, I'm not sure what to do. What I am thinking is that, of course, this is an isosceles triangle, which means if I can work out either this angle or this angle, I am in the money, so to speak, because I then can work, know that both of these angles are the same. And since 180 degrees makes the angles in a triangle, I'll be able to work out what this angle is as well. Angle X, the one we don't know. Now, I noticed that these are circles, which in fact makes me think of circle laws. And for example, this is also an isosceles triangle. So X is also over here interesting thought and if I could work out this angle I would also be making progress because if I knew this angle I could work out these x's hmm hum 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 any other rules we have I'm not seeing much I wish my diagram was a little more accurate it might inspire me um, um, this is 60, I've got to use that this is 60 degrees at some point, because this is an equilateral triangle, so this is also 60 degrees and so is this, 60, 60, and I'm thinking, well, this is 60, and this This is also X. I'm doing an angle chase here because um, remember, if, if this is uh, A, well, then this is A as well. When two lines cross, they're called opposite. Um, are they called opposite angles? I think they're called opposite angles um, or angles opposite at a point. So this is also X, which means that this is um, 100, I mean 120 minus X. And so 
since this is angles on a straight line, this must be 180 minus 120 minus x because these angles must add up to make 180 degrees because we know angles on a line um, are 180 degrees here. Um, I think we're about to get the solution, but um, chop circle in half. Okay, got it, I'm done. I know the answer, smart, me too, it's 30. Uh, no. Oh, we've got contention in the chat. Well, I think we're just about to see what the answer is. So do you guys want a second more to consolidate your answers? Or are you ready to see how it all comes together? Because now we're going to notice that this is 60 plus X, which means that this is also 60 plus X. And we know that these three angles must add up to 180. So that's 60 plus X plus 60 plus x plus x equals 180 and that is 120 plus 3x equals 180 which is 3x equals 60 which is x equals 20. The answer was a 20 degrees. Isn't that beautiful? Wonderful little problem and cute that it all came from a heart. Isn't that marvellous? It's 20. Oh, darn. So, Benny, again, you need to get yourself back to school. Um, and, yeah, fuck indeed. And, Carolina, congratulations for getting the answer right before me, because I'm slow and stupid. Um, but I am also trying to explain the steps. So, I think if we did have to race, oh, I don't know. You'd probably still beat me, let's be honest. Um, that was a fun problem. Does anybody want any more? Or are we, are we contented? Because I'm enjoying myself. I mean, I could do this all day, don't get me wrong. But if you want to um, <laughs> leave... I can understand that as well. Um, okay. I might stream this and like, do 30 minutes of math problems every day. It's kind of fun. It's tomorrow. Because my friend is asking. My friend who did math with me at Oxford is asking whether um, she, I can do it tomorrow because she wants to join the stream. More. Oh, haven't I got the best chat? I mean, this is entertaining at the max. So just to give some um, context for people who don't know who aren't from the UK, um, the Maths Challenge is um, run by an organisation called UKMT and they uh, run competition maths. And this is like the first round in a series um, of the competition that eventually leads up to the International Mathematical Olympiad, um, which is the most prestigious maths event for high school students. Um, for, for the British candidates, um, a lot of schools will have every student sit the maths challenge. So I don't know, for example, Ellie, I don't know if you've ever sat the maths challenge before. And this is the senior maths challenge. So it's aimed at year 11 to year 13, which is students who are 16 to 18. Um, and these final questions can often be uh, pretty taxing and tricky for students of this age group. However, if you score a certain amount, you get through to what's called the kangaroo. Um, and if you get a really high score, you get put through to the British Mathematical Olympiad round one, which um, have some really difficult questions. The average score on the BMO1 paper, the British Mathematical Olympiad paper one, is uh, about two. I think that's the the median. The median score is about two or three. Um, and the reason why that is, is because most students score zero. They are unable. They have three and a half hours to do this paper. There are six problems on the paper. And most students don't even get any marks in one problem. That's how the kind of level of difficulty that it steps up from this competition to the next. So I think today we'll warm up with these senior maths challenge questions, at least the harder end of these questions. But tomorrow or perhaps later, it would be cool to actually look at some of these BMO problems. Now I sat the BMO um, and I managed to get 33 or 32. I think it was I think it was 33, maybe it was 34, um, which placed me in the top 100 math, um, mathematicians in the country at that time, which was a really exciting achievement for me. I always wish that I'd found uh, competition maths earlier in my mathematical career because I took so much joy out of doing it once I'd found it. But I was also a little bit late to the party. So most of the people who are um, contending at the, the highest level um, have been doing problems like this since they were, gosh, at least as early as 
16, 15, but probably way earlier than that still. Um, so I was really proud of my result, but I wish I'd had more time to, to learn and prepare some of the ideas in these papers because it's super, super rewarding. So let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. Don't explain it, just do it. But let me screenshot, so much fun. Oh, we have kangaroo think here too. Yeah, different countries have different rounds. So after BMO1, it's BMO2, which is four questions in three and a half hours. I didn't quite qualify. I just missed the catchment for qualifying for that, which is a shame. But that paper is really hard and I probably wouldn't have got any marks on that. Um, and if you do well in that, you get put on these training camps and potentially get selected for the international maths team. Um, tomorrow working from nine to nine, please. Okay. Um, Mass challenge, I remember. Okay, so let's actually do some of these problems now if I haven't lost all of your attention. So we've done 20. Uh, should we do 21? In a square garden PQRT of side 10 meters, a ladybird sets off from Q and moves along edge QR at 30 centimeters per minute. Oh, I hate speeds and stuff. Let's just skip that question. Boring. Um, ooh, 24 looks intriguing. What's going on here, you might ask? Well, let's find out. The numbers x, y, and z are given by x equals this horrible looking expression, and y is this, and z is this. Okay, so I'm going to have to multiply them to find x, y, z. Well, let's write them down. Root 12 minus 3 root 7. New paper. Root 12 minus 3 root 7. So that's my first multiplication. And then I'm going to times that by... Oh, 12 minus root... No, no, no. Stop it, Joel. 12 minus... Minus... Root 12 plus 3 root 7. Gosh, what a complicated expression, hey. I'm not used to using this whiteboard, by the way, um, as you can probably tell. Wait, do you have to go through an array? So that's crazy. Okay, so that's x. <laughs> it's clearly the problem for me is being able to actually write the numbers down. Um, times root. I need the toilet, guys. I can't do this. What's I need the toilet? Seven minus four root three minus seven plus four root three. And then multiplied also by shouldn't have written him so bad. Root two plus root three. Minus, I assume, two minus root three. Okay, let's make sure this is right. Dum, dum, dum. Yes, and then dum, dum, dum. Yes, and then dum, dum, dum. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We're multiplying x, y, and z. That is the multiplication we need to calculate. It looks seemingly very complicated at first. Of course, we're getting quite neat possible solutions, integer solutions. So perhaps there are tricks that we can use here to make this all not quite as bad. Now, one thing I'm thinking of is the formula for the difference between two squares. Okay, so I said 24. Wait, what's going on? Um... Maths help brain, yep. Yeah. Okay. I feel smarter. Good, Alinda. That's that's what we're hoping for. I'm autistic, find it difficult, but I like to give it a go. No worries, Ellie. It's it's all about the trying. That's the main thing. And also we can all make improvements here. And problems are fun. Yeah, also Ellie, I think are you 16? So this is, you know, this is gonna be a really difficult end of, of maths for what you've learned. So I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it too much, but it's a fun challenge. I said 24 in the beginning, but you ignored me. <laughs> Working hard is rewarding. Okay, so 24. Great, so we're doing 24. So what I was saying is there's a really great factorization trick, and this might not be the way I'm supposed to go, but this is where my mind goes to, and it's called the difference between two squares. Here, we have the square number and a square number, and we're taking the difference between them, and there's a wonderful factorization, which looks like this. Isn't that wonderful? You can see how this works if we expand this right-hand side where we have x squared 
and then we get xy minus xy, which cancels it, and then the minus y squared. So this is a great factorization tool. The reason why I'm thinking about this is because I've sort of got these differences and even though there are square roots, perhaps I could write them as, oh, I don't know, um, quartic, you know, roots or, or uh, fourth roots or whatever we call them. But perhaps that's also not the way we do it. What I certainly don't want to do is just hard expand this. I feel like if I, you know, if I just multiply everything into each other, I'm going to be a very, very sad boy. I'd rather try and simplify each of these terms. If I can, which perhaps I can't. Hmm. Root. Oh, I need a way. Ah, oh, another thing I'm thinking is X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. Well, what if... I did some kind of x plus y plus z squared type thing. And for some reason that was something that's easy to calculate and perhaps each pairwise thing is easy to calculate. I'm not sure. I'm going to go to the toilet really quickly, guys, um, because I can't neglect my basic needs. I'm 19 next Monday. Oh, Ellie, sorry, I, I didn't realise. Um, yeah, and of course, you've got your birthday coming up. Uh, still difficult maths for anyone, including me, because it seems like I'm struggling on this one. So I will be right back after the break. I'll leave the question up so that you can have a look. We're doing question 24. See if you can have a go yourself, guys. Wouldn't that be exciting? She's mentioned it earlier, so I could swear in the chat. <laughs> right. Hello guys, I'm back. What have everyone been saying? And um, what's happening? Where's the dude? <laughs> Where is the dude? The dude's back. Um, welcome, slurp code. Um, how are you doing? I'm about to answer this maths problem, but I was going to the toilet. Um, I am back now and I'll do a return little beatbox. <laughs> That was a return little beatbox for you. Um, I'm done. Do you want to know the answer? Okay, smarty pants. Well, no, I would like to work out the answer for myself. But also, I had an epiphany on the toilet. I thought that actually, this is kind of entertaining, is it not? And I bet there are lots of people who might be interested in seeing that maths can be fun. Like, even if they finish school and stuff like that, but want to kind of just see the joys of doing math problems for the actual fun of doing them whereas when they were at school they probably often didn't like maths because they thought that they, you know they were being forced to do it um so perhaps i'll do more of these math streams i think it's i think it's entertaining uh correct me if i'm wrong though uh do you want to know the answer i know it haha -ha. gosh you guys are ahead of the curve right so where was i with this i need to find the value of multiplying these hmm Definitely don't want to expand them, so I feel like I must be able to simplify them. 
Now I'm going to take a leaf, a leaf of my own book and say that, no, I can't, that is not the way. But if I, do I notice anything interesting going on in here? I'm really not seeing how I want to do this. Hmm. I'm multiplying them. If I was adding them, that would be no good. There's a clear structure here. We've got some number minus this thing, minus some number plus this thing. It looks very different of two squares -y. If I times x by m no. Hmm. My brain. I can't think of much to do. Maybe I'm being lazy and I should start multiplying and maybe spot some patterns. Hmm. I'm at college, love maths. Good stuff. Glad you like maths. Do you want to know the answer? Um, yeah, I'd rather do maths with you than look at you struggle with music. <laughs> we can't see the board. Oh, you're just looking at me, looking at the board. So you cry close up, but I also want to see the board. <laughs> True, I'm about to cry because, I mean, I, I don't give up very easily. I don't give up very easily. We will get there eventually. What is the value of X, Y, Z? I don't just want to multiply them. That would be disgusting. I have to find something neat about this. Okay, I have found out. I've worked it out. I've worked it out. Yippee. And I think this is the key. Let's look at x, for example. Well, x was root 12 minus 3 root 7 minus root 12 plus 3 root 7. Now, this is interesting because if I pretend that this is the square, so this number here is the square of what? Well, it's the square of the fourth root of this. I'll show you what I mean. This is like saying, this is a little complicated and ugly, but perhaps we see what's going on. Can you see that this term is the same as this? Because if you know your indice laws, this is all to the power of one over four. If I take that to the power of two, I get to the power of one over two, which is this square root sign over here. And similarly, I can write this as a fourth root, as so. Isn't that interesting? This is exactly still the same as the expression x. If I give myself some more space here. However, this can now apply over here because we have the difference between two squares. So let's um, work out what this is equal to by factorizing it. I need to do this term minus this term. Hang on, this does not look like the way forwards. One minute, I'm crazy. I thought this was going to work because I would really like to add these somewhere. <laughs> and subtract. And I thought that the way to do that What if this was actually this part? And I multiply it by x plus y, which is a lot easier. Aha, that's a that's a possible route forwards. Let's not write it that way. That's not that's misleading because this is looking more like this. Fantastic news. Well, if I do, if I look at um, 
this expression, root 12 minus 3 root 7 minus root 12 plus 3 root 7 and multiply it by root 12 minus 3 root 7 plus root 12 plus 3 root 7. Maybe this doesn't work either. Well, then I have the difference between two squares, except it's this side. So I've got x squared. So this would be equal to 12 minus 3 root 7. Um, minus 12 plus 3 root 7. Do you see that? If this is this side, well, then I need to do this number squared minus this number squared. Oops. And since they're square roots, I just basically have the same things, except their square roots disappear. And this is nice-ish because this makes the 12s cancel. And this makes minus, um, minus 6 root 7. I mean, it's not that nice. I've also just multiplied it by a completely random term. I'm not making too much progress here. See what's chat saying. Cool, talking about uni. I do x squared and y squared and z squared. Now that's possibly a nice idea because then I could square root the whole final thing to work out x, y, z. But if I square this, surely that's still very ugly. I mean, I get this and then I get this. And I get two lots of them multiplied together. Is that not still very ugly? It's a nice idea, though. <laughs> Hello, Siwa. So I'm going to take the suggestion because this is a collaborative effort. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm losing chess games and I'm unable to solve maths. Also, I want a different colored pen. What color pen should we do? This is pretty. Let's do a blue. Um, let's do x squared then. x squared is equal to... Oh, it's going to be really ugly. Okay, it'll be 12 minus 3 root 7. This term squared. Um, plus this term. 12 plus 3 root 7. So it is going to actually cancel out very nicely. This was a very good idea indeed. And now um, I get two lots minus two lots of this. Root 12 minus, I don't know, three root seven times 12 plus three root seven. And this is going to work out lovely. So this was quite a fabulous suggestion. And I'm just an idiot trying desperately to use something that perhaps, well, maybe it will still come in hand, but I don't think this is the way because we're going to see this pattern here. We're going to be able to apply it to Y and Z really quickly now that we've seen how it works. Um, and, and then working out X, Y, Z will just be a case of square rooting our final thing. So here we get 24 and then these cancel, which is great. Minus two lots of, well, let's make out this multiplication. Um... This is now the difference of two squares that I've been looking for. Um, so the square root of uh, this number squared minus this number squared. Am I right? Yes, it is. So this is 144 minus uh, 9 times 7, uh, which is 63. And this makes... Um, 81, am I right? 81? Yeah, that would be nice because that is a perfect square. So thank gosh it's 81. Um, which, da da da, is finally 6. Insane. Just insane. What a wonderful suggestion to open up the problem. Well, let's just apply this now to y and z. Well, what was the actual thing we got? We, we end up getting... I should have done this algebraically so that I could have just seen exactly what the 
final product is here, um, it would have been easier for applying, but I'm sure I can see the pattern fairly quickly. I'm going to get whatever these numbers were, two lots of them. So for Y, I should get 14. Let's just do this here so that I don't lose my place too much. 14, and then I'm going to be subtracting two lots of whatever, oh my gosh, I should have done this algebraically. I should have done this algebraically. 14 minus, you know what? I'm gonna save myself the, the effort and do it algebraically. Let me just tell you the answer. No, you can't, because I'm enjoying myself. Thank you very much. Um, let's look at A, so let's look at A, the expression, what should it be? A minus B root C. No, this is actually just gonna be so ugly. Let's just do it for each one. So Y squared is going to be um, 14. I should have Y here, it would just help me so much. Screw it. Seven minus four root three. Da, da, da. So y squared is 14, um, and then those will cancel, then minus two lots of the square root of this multiplied by this, so 49 minus 16 times 3, which is 8 times 6, which is 48. Um, hopefully I'm not making arithmetic mistakes but this again works out because this is uh, 12 and then z is equal to bah, 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 root 2 plus root 3 minus root 2 minus root 3 and this one's hopefully the simplest it would just be square so 2 4 uh, minus 2 lots of whatever this is, four minus three, which is again one, so this equals two. And so, so this is z squared, and so x, y, z is equal to the square root of six times 12 times two, and we see that this is 12, and the answer is e12. Thanks for the wonderful suggestion, chat. Isn't that insane? We've helped each other. Jeez, I literally only liked you because you're clever and here we are. Well, you'd be surprised at what I can do with um, more difficult problems, which perhaps we will look at in a future day. But um, I think that concludes quite nicely. How long has the stream been? Two hours. Damn. Bit of chess, bit of maths. I feel accomplished. I'm going to go make some lunch and sort out my life a little bit. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I'll probably do music in my next stream. Um, yeah, you've all, you've all watched me look how, um, see how I'm slowly deteriorating and losing my mind, which is sad, but I still have fun doing the maths problems and playing the chess games, and that's what counts. So, uh, until next time. Bye.